الحمد للہ و صلاحت و السلام علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam mentioned in a very important hadith for us hadith sahih in which he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-khulafa al-rashidin al-mahdiin min ba'di tamasiku biha wa adhu alayha بنواجذ وإياكم ومحتثر الأمور فإن كل بدعة ضلالة. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said in this very important hadith about how we should deal with the splitting and the confusion and the fitna and the discord that we find. And the differences of opinion that we see, constant differences. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati. It's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin. And the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifat of the Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin who came out, who come after me. Tamesiku biha. Adhere to it. You know, grab onto it. Cling to it. Well, cling to it with your molar teeth, which are in the backs of your mouths. The molars. And beware of newly invented matters. For every newly invented matter is astray, dalala, misguidance. Shaykh Abdurrahman al-Baraq, Hafidhullah Ta'ala mentions some great benefits with regards to this, this text. <coughs> he says, وَاَعْتَمَدَ أَهْلَ الْعِلْمِ فِي اِتِبَارِ مَا سُنَّهُ Al-Khulafa ala hadha al-hadith That Ahl al-ilm, the scholars have always depended on Due to this hadith What was the sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashidin al-Mahdiin They gave it great importance Meaning what was the sunnah of Abu Bakr Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ajma'in Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu What was the sunnah of Umar Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu What was the sunnah of Uthman radiyallahu anhu and what was the sunnah of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and he then says he says waqala fi Abi Bakr wa Umar and he says and it was said regarding Abu Bakr and Umar radiyallahu anhuma aktadu بِالَّذِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِ أَبِي بَكْرِ وَعُمَرِ So in a hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, Adhere, you know, and this was in fi'l amr, this was a command from the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ in this hadith. He said, and adhere, those who come after me adhere to Abi Bakr and Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين in that we should give that importance to what Abu Bakr and Umar in accordance with this hadith what they were upon how they understood Islam how they practiced what was their sunnah what was their ways so he says فَأَمَرَ صَلَى اللَّهُ وَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمْ بِإِكْتِدَابِهِمَا 
واتباع سنة الخلفاء الراشدين فكل ما سنوه مما لا يخالف ما جاء عن رسول الله عن عن رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم فإن على الأمة أن يتبعهم في سنتهم. So the Sheikh he mentions he says for Amr صلى الله عليه وسلم he said the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام commanded to adhere to them meaning Abu Bakr and Umar رضي الله تعالى عنهما and follow their sunnah and the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin the rightly guided Khulafa Khulaf Khalifa as we mentioned and he said in everything that they had as a sunnah which did not contradict what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with, then verily the Ummah must follow it. For whom Ahrabi Sawab men him. They are the most adherent to the truth in comparison to anyone else. Hatta qala bad al ahl al ilm. إن الإجماع الخلفاء الأربع حجة and this is to the extent that some of the scholars أهل العلم they said that the إجماع or the consensus of the خلفاء الراشدين those four خليفات أبو بكر عمر وعثمان وعلي رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين that that is a hujjah, that that in itself is a is dalil, that makes up evidence in the shara. Some of Ahl al said this. Because of course, they were the most beloved in the ummah, they were the khulafa rashidin, they were praised by the, uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi and appointed as his khalifa, and the most truthful, the most adherent to the sunnah, the least likely to make a mistake in any Messiah al deen. And so for this reason, as long as what they did did not come into conflict with what the Prophet ﷺ came with, then those scholars said that that is a hujja, that is evidence, meaning that's delil, that's something you can use as evidence in your practice of Islam. The Sheikh then says, لِأَنَّهُمْ لَا يُكَادُونَ يَجْمَعُونَ عَلَىٰ خَطَىٰ ولا أذكر أنهم أجمعوا في مسألة وكان سواب في خلافها. That's a beautiful way we're going to end this. Is he said the reason for this is because it was not possible that they would agree on a mistake. And I do not recall that they ever came together on any issue in the religion and that the truth was other than what they had come together upon. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to bless us to be from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, adhering to the book, adhering to the Sunnah, following the minhaj, the methodology, the madhab of the Khulafa al-Rashidin, al-Mahdiin, the minhaj of the Salaf al-Salih. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us to meet Allah azza wa jal in that state. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.